Hello and welcome, it's Anne Sue and today is day 8 of Bookmas. And I wanted to talk about all the books that are hyped on TikTok. First one I have on hand is The Song of Achilles. I did end up reading this book this year and I know a lot of people love it. I get it. But I personally didn't love it. <laughs> so we obviously have Achilles who's our main character and then he is trying to try to be all this all-powerful kind of a character and we're trying to figure things out of his life, his quest and all that kind of stuff. He has this relationship with another person called Procopolis, I think. Procopolis? It's not Procopolis. Not Procopolis, Patroclus, who is an awkward young prince who got exiled from his homeland for something that he did. He did something that was an act of violence and he essentially got exiled into wherever Achilles was at the time. So these two kind of get this friendship and they kind of grow up together essentially. They go through all of these years together, they go through some training and all that kind of stuff. Achilles is just super strong. And then Patroclus and Achilles are like pretty good friends and we see that they kind of have a romance later on is supposed to be very cute but then Achilles never really treats Patroclus really nicely there are times when he does not listen to Patroclus and I just it bothered me so much quite often and I was just really annoyed by the character for the most part and towards the end I just I admired what Patroclus did but at the same time it was kind of foolish in my opinion and he did that for Achilles like I couldn't stand by it I couldn't really understand it I didn't care enough for either of those characters unfortunately and personally I think it's not worth the hype but I know a lot of people love this book and have talked about it for so so long and I think it's flown around TikTok for so long. It was not my favorite, unfortunately. <laughs> Next up, I have Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I'm adding to the hype for this one. I personally really enjoy this book. I think it has some great main characters, lovely romance, and a good amount of jokes. Our main character, Alex, I think his name was, and uh, he's like the president's son, and we have another character, Henry, who is a prince of England. These two characters kind of, um, they're always been enemies. They never really liked each other other for whatever reason and so when they actually end up meeting they kind of have to be forced into a friendship for the media but soon after the friendship kind of develops a little bit and they kind of fall in love it's a male male romance it's super adorable I thought it was such a fun book and it was one of my favorite books of last year I think and it was, it was so good I loved it. Next up, we're going to talk about Beach Read by Emily Henry. Again, I'm going to totally add on to the hype. So we have these two main characters. One of them is a romance writer and she does not believe in love anymore because she is in a writing rut and she just does not have any story to really tell. On the flip side, we have a literary fiction writer named Augustus who is an acclaimed author. So January and August kind of talk to each other more. I think they knew each other from a past time and they reconnect I'm pretty sure and they decide to flip genres so basically Augustus will write whatever January usually writes and January will write literary fiction so just switching genres essentially and there's a cute romance there it's adorable I absolutely adore this book it's really sweet 10 out of 10 would recommend have, next up I have another release from this year which is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid personally I think this is one of my favorite books of Taylor Jenkins Reid I know uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn and Hugo was super hyped up, so was Daisy Jones and the Six. Personally, really enjoyed Daisy Jones and the Six as well as um, Seven Husbands. It was just not as good as Malibu Rising, in my opinion. I personally really enjoy Malibu Rising for whatever reason, and I think I gave this like a 5 stars, if I'm not wrong, or 4.5 at the very least, and I had a, such a grand time reading this. This follows around a bunch of siblings who are the kids of this really famous singer, and they have a really sweet relationship, and the way that they grew up throughout the years, their hardships and everything is kind of talked about in this book in multiple perspectives. There's a fire in Malibu, and one of the kids' house basically burns down, and we're trying to figure out what what happened during this party that they were having in order for there to be this fire and like chaos ensuing after that. So we're just following around all these characters in different timelines and stuff and I just I personally really enjoyed the story. I thought it had such a good premise and always Taylor Jenkins Reid has this way of writing that makes it seem like a non-fiction but it's so good that you actually will google these people and try to figure out if they're real people but they're not. It's just that good. Next up I have Kiss Quotient which is also a super hyped up book. I hated this book. 
I don't know what it was. It just did not mesh with me at all. From what I can remember, we have this character named Stella who Stella has Asperger's. Is that how you say that? She has that and French kissing reminds her of a shark getting its teeth cleaned by pilot fish. She's a very nerdy like mathematician, data analyst or something like that and essentially she does not do romance at all. She has never been in a relationship in like a proper relationship. She does not know how, like how to make out or anything like that. So she decides that she needs a lot of practice. She decides to hire this escort named Michael and they are going to obviously make out a little bit and she just makes sure that Michael does not see anyone else during this point and it's just them kind of like in an exclusive relationship of sorts but with an escort and they end up having a relationship afterwards. I don't know what it was but I just didn't love this book at all. Just the way that everything was portrayed. It's Overall, I just did not really enjoy this book, unfortunately, and I know it's super hyped up. I know The Heart Principle, which is like the third book in the series, is really good, or I've heard so, and I'm looking forward to trying that one day, but this one was just such a pass for me. Next up, I have Throne of Glass, the entire series. Now, I know this is super hyped, and I've read it, I've enjoyed it, but I need to talk about this. I've talked about this multiple times on my channel, so if you have been following me, you already know what I'm about to say. I love The Assassin's Blade. I thought it was one of the best books I've read in a very long time, and it really helped me get out of a huge reading slump that I was in. Like, three, four years worth of a reading slump that I was in. And it was a great book. I really enjoyed reading that. Then Throne of Glass came, which is not a bad book. I really enjoyed it. Then Crown of Midnight, I think, was the next one. It was meh. Era of Fire came, it changed the entire series from Throne of Glass to Akotar. I enjoyed Akotar, but I just wanted Akotar to be of its own, you know, just be by itself. I didn't want Throne of Glass to be that. Throne of Glass was supposed to be this amazing action-packed book with this super badass main character, Selena. Not anymore. Now that we have more of these fairies going on, I'm just like, why? You didn't have to do that. That was really frustrating. I hated seeing that to be completely honest and well, that's how the book was. I think it's not worth the hype, <laughs> but I will give The Assassin's Blade the benefit of the doubt because it's such a good book. I really enjoyed it. I still remember many tidbits in that book and it really just has such a soft spot in my heart. The rest of the series unfortunately does not have that same hold with me. Next up I have Take a Hint, Danny Brown, which is also another book that was super hyped up on TikTok. Out of the three Brown Sisters books, like middle ground one for me, um, I really enjoyed all three of the books. I think I give them all five out of five stars because the writing was really fun. I liked the characters. I really enjoyed reading from all of them. I thought Danny's character was really fun, sure, but I personally liked Eve Brown a lot more, which is the third book in the series, and I loved that character. I thought she was fantastic. The entire story was so adorable, so funny. Loved it. This one was not as great as Eve Brown, but I did enjoy reading it, and I think it's totally worth the hype. So we were just following around like three different sisters in each book. It's just their romance, the way that they're going through life, and it's just super cute. They have like very different types of like, romantic interests, which I thought was really fun, and I thought it was really cute for sure, but this was not like the top tier book for me. It was enjoyable, but it was not like the best. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> Next up I have Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. This is also super super hyped up if you didn't know and again I feel like Sarah J Maas does not know how to kill her characters. Like they die and they're resurrected each and every time without fail and I hate that. I want to feel things. You know if there's a war you expect people to die. Never. They never fucking die. I find that so frustrating. Like, do you not feel that's frustrating? Every single time there's a war type of scene going on, you're just like in the moment and you're just trying to figure like, oh my goodness, who's going to die? What is going to happen? And you see someone die, you feel all the feels and they're like, oh yeah, they're not dead. What do you mean they're not dead? They're supposed to be dead. What? I just, I find that so frustrating and the same tactics were used in this book as well and I hated that. Does this mean that I will not read the rest of the book series? I'm not sure because this was a, like a 600, 700 page book. It was a monstrosity and I got through it and it was not like a fantastic book or anything for me personally so I don't know. Like I feel like I will not continue with the series but the next book looks kind of nice. I'm in a dilemma right now but yeah it's it was not the best and I know people will come after me for this one but it's okay like I, I have to tell you how I feel 
The last one I'm going to talk about is Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is also another romance that I really enjoyed. Christina Lauren is just this author duo that is so so good together. I think they make such amazing stories and that Honeymooners for me personally was just such a sweet romance. We have these two main characters who've absolutely hated each other for a very long time and they are like best man and man and maid of honor in a wedding. Something goes wrong during the wedding and uh, everyone gets food poisoning which leads the bride and groom to not be able to go for their honeymoon. In order to not waste the money, basically they send maid of honor and best man together on the honeymoon. And they absolutely hate it. They have this amazing hotel room with one bed together. It has all the props. It's super cute, super funny. Absolutely loved it. The only thing I had with this book though was that the hate, I just couldn't feel it. You know, it was just, it was just like they had slight arguments like normal people would. It was never really like, oh, this is why I absolutely hate you. I never felt that. It's just they didn't mesh together that well and that was it. There's nothing like too special about the way that they hate each other or anything. So I don't know. I didn't really care too much of the way that they hated each other. Other than that, it was just a really good book. It was really fun. Absolutely adored it. All right, you guys, those are all the books that I found on TikTok right now that are super hyped up and I just wanted to talk about all of them and share it with you all. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Anne. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time with another one. Until then, I'll talk to you all in the comments. Bye!